underlying energy that we have for this week is the uh, Six of Cups. This speaks of um, nostalgia, things in the past. Um, or this could be a soulmate relationship as well. Uh, so, the, But the past has a factor in this relationship. Um, and we're going to go ahead and keep going so that we can get a better understanding of how the past has anything to do with the, the energies, the energy from the past, or the energy regarding the past or familiar um, to the past. It's say, may, is, um, has its play um, on the reading for today. The heart of the reading is the Eight of Pentacles, which speaks of work, um, hard work at that. So, I am basically, if you could, you're doing, you know, physical work or you're working um, on something, this is also progress, progression. So, just basically kind of a steady, um, hard working, kind of trying to like um, put in your um, your efforts. And at the moment, this is what it's about. Um, but it's crossed by the um, nine of wands. So perhaps you are all work and no play, Virgo. Uh, maybe you guys need to branch out and have some fun. This could also mean that somebody's in your life that is very playful, very passionate, very sexy. Um, someone that um, brings that spark back. But he's also kind of, he or she is also kind of unreliable in some ways. Um, so perhaps you you have some work to be done, or so, some things that need to have need to have some work done on it. So some progress that needs to be made. Um, and there, and right now this person that you're dealing with isn't very taking it, taking it very seriously, um, or it's very kind of lax about it, the whole thing. Or it could just be the lack of fun and just all work and no play. That's pretty much what it looks like to me. Um, what you're wanting, though, is to pay attention to the details. Uh, maybe you're wanting a stable offer as well, something that's a little more um, gr grounded and in its base, in its basis, I guess. So, um, again, this could be also wanting to pay attention to details. Um, this could also be what you're dealing with, which is uh, slow, tedious, and boring work. But that's only temporary, okay? However, um, in the past, you had the Queen of Wands. So you could have been in a relationship with a, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That's what a uh, Knight of Wands would be in um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or you were in the past more outgoing, more social, um, began projects, very creative, um, things like that. Maybe you seem very sexy, or maybe perhaps you had more confidence in the past. Um, then you have in your present the Six of Wands. So this is the card of victory and recognition. So perhaps you're being noticed more at work. Um, you are celebrating or um, you are receiving victory right now in your present. So things can be going pretty well right now. And that's awesome, guys. It's really good to see. And in the future, you have the King of Pentacles. So this is... This could, this is you guys. Um, this could mean that you guys are more are financially abundant, more grounded as as you're in yourselves. Um, you, this could also mean that someone could be coming into your life that is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but ultimately, this could be you guys um, feeling more like yourselves, um, being more um, uh, feeling more grounded. And I think that's awesome. I think that's really awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull some cards, There's some extra cards to basically understand the reading a little bit more. Um, so that way we can definitely uh, get to some specifics with the generalized reading. Wowzers. Alright, and the first card that we get for the underlying energy here is, it's not the underlying energy, excuse me, the heart of the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. This is about slow, somebody being slow, someone taking their time, being very precise and strategizing. Um, so this is in regards to work. So maybe you're dealing with some slow work right now. Work is going pretty slow. This progression is moving at a slow pace. This could be good. I mean, it's leisurely. 
Um, you probably want to take this time to go ahead and look at the details and really um, make sure that you're getting in and um, in filling out every spot that you possibly can, fixing every possible issue that you possibly can. So that's that could be a totally fine. Um, what's crossing it? What is the Knight of Wands referring to? 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 The Three of Cups. So it's referring to community support. So perhaps your for support is kind of unreliable at the moment, or the or your friends are wanting to have some more fun. You want to have be more playful with friendship, or you want to be more playful within your friendship. Want to go out, have some drinks. Things like that. So probably you want to have a good time right now. You want you're working, but you don't have a lot of things going on. So you so you, you don't have any fun. You're not having any fun. Um, it could mean, but it could also mean that the person that you're with isn't very isn't is possibly not being very supportive, or he um he's providing some sort of support. Or he could be supplying, uh, providing support. Three of Pentacles is all is about support, friendship, community. So, and the Knight of Wands is someone that's unreliable, good at starting things but not finishing. What is the Page of Pentacles in the Crown and Energy? The Fool. So you want a new beginning, um, but based off of a stable offer. So you you maybe you're wanting to propose a new beginning, or with somebody, or propose a stable offer with someone, as and begin this new beginning with them, or perhaps you're waiting, or you're wanting a new beginning with someone, um, or someone to offer it to you. Um, that's what that's interesting, guys. That's very interesting. What is the Queen of Wands in the past? Where's the Queen of Wands in the past? Where's the Queen of Wands in the past? Aha, the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is about um, um, empty victories, feeling like that you had a victory, but you kind of don't feel the emotion, the emotional fulfillment of that. So you're feeling very victorious, but just lacking in the emotional sector. However, um, this from my mentor, Aquarian Insight, you should go ahead and check out her videos. Um, she has a YouTube channel, Aquarian Insight. Just want to repeat in case I mumbled that on accident. Um, my mentor, great readings, great advice readings. Go ahead and check her channel out um, if you are interested. But this all from her. Um, from what I when I was learning from her and what I'm still currently learning from her um, is that uh, this is about this is about ruthlessness getting what you want and doing everything necessary it may not feel good to do everything necessary but you did everything that you possibly could do to get to this victory that's why it's empty so you could have had some a bit of ruthlessness you're probably a bit feisty in the past as well um, the Six of Wands. What is that in the present? What is this victory? Let us see the victory in the present here. What is this? Aha! The Queen of Pentacles. So perhaps this is in regards to somebody in the relationship. So you're probably feeling victory in your love life. Or you're feeling more victory as being more stable and, and uh, financially abundant. Um, being grounded and being um, much more, um, being a, pretty much a money machine. I'm just kidding. Not a money machine, but definitely someone that makes um, money and is is very grounded. So you probably, you're feeling like yourself as far as your victory goes. It's perfect. And what is this future? What is this future? Ah, the lovers. This is about making a decision. The lovers card. It's, also, it's, it's not just strictly about love. So, um, you could be making a decision about a king of pentacles. 
Um, since you feel like the Queen of Pentacles right now, you can make you you can make a decision in regards to uh, someone that think that is financially more abundant. Perhaps, perhaps your king. In regards to your king, you have to make a decision, or you're going to be making a decision. Um, but this is this is love. So this is definitely someone that's in our soulmate relationship. Since you have the Queen and King of Pentacles in here. Um, you guys could be in a relationship with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, with or someone that's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Wonderful, wonderful. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and do the recap here. Um, in the real, um, right, your underlying energy. Blah, 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 after all of that, I'm sorry. Your underlying energy is to six of cups basically talking about nostalgia, past, soulmate connection, a deep soulmate connection that kind of resembles a past life relationship. Um, right now, with the problem circumstance at the heart of your reading, you're dealing with making progress right now, slow and gradual progress. You're being very, you're not only just being very slow, or you and your partner, or your partner itself is being very slow with the progress, you guys are paying attention and you're making sure um, that you are hitting every spot necessary with all this with all this work. So that way you um, that way you don't you know skip over anything. You're not rushing uh, rushing it. So I think that's awesome. Um, what's crossing you is is the Knight of Wands. Someone that's very playful. Someone that's very um, passionate. Um, that could be going on right now, and they're providing you providing you with support, or perhaps you aren't getting enough fun, and you're not having fun, and you need to have you know, maybe you you need to actually like enjoy your life a little bit instead of just working on it. What you want though is a stable offer that leads to a new beginning. Could be with someone. It could be you wanting to um, offer that so after that. Um, Give the offer out to someone in regards to a new beginning. Um, in the past, you had the Queen of Wands clarified by the Five of Swords. So you were feeling very confident, but you were very ruthless in how you were getting getting your victory, um, possibly. Uh, you got, did everything you needed to do and everything possible to get to where you were. Or perhaps you, um, you knew someone or your partner was being... Um, you had you were, I guess, in a relationship with your partner, and you feel um, you felt like you had to do things necessarily not necessarily bad things or anything like ruthless. But you you guys had possibly some issues, and you guys are just kind of recovering from those issues successfully, but just kind of feeling the not just lacking in the emotional success of the relationship being the way it is. Um, that's what it could mean, um, but <clears throat> you could have been feeling like the Queen of Wands and you, you've got this empty victory, um, this emotionally lacking victory in the past. In the present though, you do have an emotionally fulfilling victory. You're celebrating and you've got recognition as the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so someone that's very grounded, someone that's very, um, that's abundant. You feel um, you feel like yourself, and you're celebrating, and you're victorious for being yourself, or being, or, or um, you're becoming abundant. But in the future, you do have the King of Pentacles and the Lovers. So it's in regards to it's possibly in regards to a decision, or it just has something to do with your love and your other half, um, or your soulmate, or someone, or someone that's romantically involved with you. Um, for your under for your outcome, excuse me. You have the Ace of Swords. So this speaks of new ideas, new communication, new ways of seeing things of and seeing things from a new perspective and beginning your journey with a new perspective in mind. And the Knight of Wands to clarify the underlying sorry not the underlying energy, um the outcome. So to me, this says that um, perhaps you'll come at it with a little bit more passion. This you have new passionate ideas. Your um, your ideas will come from 
um, a spark of enthusiasm. You could be that spark of enthusiasm, your part, or your partner could be that spark of enthusiasm. I think that is awesome. Let me go ahead and pull some this. Oh, okay, never mind. It popped one out for me immediately. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. And let's go ahead and pull a wisdom oral card for you guys. Okay. I saw that, so that is something you need to see. And the card, the wisdom oral card that you have here is exchanging gifts. 27. Let's go ahead and read the essential meanings, oracle message, and the relationship relationship message for this reading for this week. Essential meanings. The law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs, and determining value. Your the oracle message, excuse me. You're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience, and skills and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. Now the relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and be an abundance to flow between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gifts in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. <laughs> 